A skeleton uncovered in Memphis. Maybe we can find a grease spot where the actual body decomposed. A family murdered in Mississippi. A body stashed in a Las Vegas locker. Real crimes with real consequences. We got a rib, we got a right scapula. What's the connection between these grisly discoveries? Real CSI. Scientists turn crime scene investigators, dramatized on a hit TV series. But what do they really do? Did the skull look small to you too? Ready? You can scope the hill. And where do they learn their trade? Welcome to Ground Zero in the field of forensic anthropology, a unique outdoor classroom where the subject is death, and more than half the CSI units working in the U.S. today have been trained. Founded by Dr. Bill Bass of the University of Tennessee more than 25 years ago, research conducted within these few wooded acres in Knoxville has redefined the frontiers of forensic science. The anthropology research facility, what most people call the body farm, is a research facility that I set up to begin to look at the decay and the rates of decay in human bodies. Like many anthropologists, Bass started out studying ancient bones. His expertise eventually led to his helping the police with modern day murder victims. You know, we kill our friends and neighbors by many different means, but a lot of people are shot or, or bludgeoned or stabbed. My orientation was what happens to a body when it decays and how long does it take? He learned to read bones for signs of trauma knife marks and ribs, unusual fractures in skulls. Drawing on unclaimed bodies from county morgues, he built an extensive collection of skeletons. But early in his career, Bass realized that bones weren't the only source of clues. Decomposing flesh had secrets to reveal as well. I get a call one afternoon, it was between Christmas and New Year's, it was cold from the Williamson County Sheriff's Office, telling me that they had a grave that had been disturbed. Would I come and help? So I get over there. This is a family cemetery, back of a home. Someone had broken into the earth near a headstone. Just beneath the surface, a headless male corpse. The remains looked fairly fresh. Police needed to know how fresh. Had a new body been added to an old grave? Dr. Bass agreed the body was in good shape. Pink flesh still clung to the bones. I looked at it. I said, you have a 24 to 28 year old white male who's been dead about a year. But something didn't add up. Bass kept digging, ultimately identifying the body as Colonel William Shy, a rebel officer killed in the Civil War. Buried in an airtight cast iron coffin, the corpse had been incredibly well preserved. Bass's original assessment had been off by more than a century. People wonder why I started a body farm. It's because of a couple of experiences like that that make you realize that, you know, you really don't know much about decay rates, and we need to do something about that.